Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today video I will try to explain how we can import project from, from GitHub, from Google Drive, from any other drive that we want to import Laravel project and then we can try to update this project in our local system. So let's start. As you can see this is my Google Drive and this is my, this is my Google Drive and this is my uh, GitHub. As you can see this is my project, I can import this project, just click on simple click on this project and download. In other case, if you want to download project from GitHub, just have to click on code and download zip. So it's quite simple. After click on download zip, you will you will have a, uh, a zip file uh, of the project and you have to extract this file first. As you can see, after extracting file, you will see that I will have a code in this file. And after extracting this project, I need to uh, open this project in Visual Studio. You can use another editor as you like. And after extracting the project, as you can see, my project is here. And now I can open this project in, in my Visual Studio. I will go to my Visual Studio and click on File and click on Open Folder and I will click on go to download and as you can see my project is here I will click on KPIP project and select folder as you can see my project is already imported here first of all as you can see there's one file dot call dot env example you have to edit this file rename this file you have to remove remove the dot example and enter right now as you can see the uh, the env file you need to add your uh, information about database information about some other information and so on after that you need to run some commands like composer update you have to go to project folder and open your cmd here now here you have to to write a command composer update and enter now it will take a couple of second to complete the process then we will go for next step as you can see my my this command is completed right now i need to run another command as you can see i need to run this command php artisan key generate okay using this command we as you can see app key we have to regenerate this key to run this command just simply go the run the same uh, same command here like php artisan key generate enter you can see my key is generated here as you can see here right now in next step we need to migrate the tables to our database because in this project we have uh, some database so we have to create database and then import all the tables in our database create all the tables in our database so let's start as you can see here this is my database name I need to create a database. I need to open XAMPP and start my SQL server. And I will go to browser and open my local host PHP admin and create a new data database. Right? Click on new and write a name here, Laravel project, uh, Laravel name of the database, and click on create. You can give any name and done your your data uh, base is created right now you need to run a command is called php artisan migrate simply you need to run this command go to here and enter as you can see my all the table that are uh, that that was available in my code is created in my database i will show you here you can go to laravel and you can see my all the table are created here so it's quite simple right and the last step you have to run you will you need to run a php artisan serve to check my project is working or not enter as you can see my project is server is started just need to open this link copy this link and try to access my application here i will try to con uh, open one of my endpoint and enter as you can see my application is open successfully right now you can use your application you can try to update the code 
if you want to do some modification if you want to do something else so it's quite simple in this video i try to explain how you can import any project from from github from from any drive and try to uh, uh, run on your system and then you can update your or your project so it's quite simple so thanks for watching my video if you like my content give a thumbs up thank you